Okay, yeah. And that was my point. It didn't work, so. All right, but I got caught off on the last video because uh, I had a phone call, okay? But let's get to the point where I still have a little bit of brain left to talk about the last week of my experience around, you know, neighborhoods over here in a West Suburban area. So knowing me, I go to the Japanese society. So I spend like 100% of my time speaking Japanese. And basically that 100% gets breaking off by people that are more like um, intermediate or fluent or, you know, so good at it. Like they got a passion as, you know, Samantha would say, Charles, you got a passion for what you do. So just don't get in trouble with the, the, the society. Sorry for my English, it's terrible. You know, be good with everybody. Don't ask for sex there. Don't ask for drugs there. You know, don't worry about nothing. You know, just speak from the heart and tell them what, you, what you're going through. So I'm gonna get to the point right now, I'm Japanese. I was at Heart Grove Hospital last week. Yeah, I'm, t I'm, t I'm telling you this. You're telling me why you're telling me this now? Because we already saw the video probably. But I'm gonna tell you this. I was at Heart Grove Hospital. And I'm just telling you this because it's probably out of a million people that probably already been there. But I was one of them right now that just been discriminated for talking Japanese. Now, oh, you couldn't say that. Oh, it's too late, Charles. Let's get to the whining part and get over with it. I'm a happy person, so I'm not going to put myself and display myself as being sad right now. I just had a beautiful day and I didn't eat nothing since yesterday. But so far as the afternoon. And you see how my life is processing as I'm waiting just to get money from people or I'm trying to be a beggar as speaks. So that's the way my life might turn out to be, you know, and do I really want that? You know, in instance, for my symbols, that's my symbolically aspect goes when I'm just thinking about symbols in my mind, too. So it's a creativity I do with the songs that I'm starting to listen to that I enjoy, you know. It's about being positive, you know, like I thought about it too, in a way, as I was talking about being more disciplining to be positive in a way, like my girlfriend wants to get off arguing. And then after we argue, we start talking about how, oh, it's, it's really not that bad to be living because at least we got flesh and skin right now in our eyes and our nose and our mouth. And the one given talent gift from God is the, the air we breathe outside. And there you go. It's not so hard, you know, people dying right now of AIDS and cancer and, you know, birth defects right now, babies, that's, that's what wasn't even born. Talking about, you know, Nagi saw's history when she had two babies that died before she got here, I think, or one baby. And that's pretty, you know, overwhelming to hear that she didn't have no, no sister or brother to grow up with. And yeah, I had like, what, four brothers and two sisters. Yeah. And they're all, you know. You know, they're all babies right now, you know, living their life, trying to take care of other people like I done. You know, but, you know, feeling that, you know, I feel good, you know, for a youngin. And I can say, like, right now where I was at, you know, the hospital, shit, man, they didn't even got, you know, my, sorry, my English is terrible again, but, you know, they ain't pushing shit. Like, like you were hearing Bone Thugs and Harmony. And by the way, yeah, that Busy Bone album, that shit finna be hot, man. As soon as I get a chance to go into it. I ain't got into it yet because, you know, life been stressing me out lately and I've been trying to learn how to date women lately and, you know, you know, manifest and just, you know, keeping, you know, who I am as a person to one single human being that I love, that I want to be with for the rest of my life and not knowing to to not do, you know, the, the shit is that's just awful and it's like, you know, sinful to life, you know, in a way it's being honest. And telling her the truth just right off the back, you know, about how I feel about the Japanese society and them as my family. And she understands how I am because I'm more international the way I grew up from Chicago. The West Side, yeah, all black people, all Mexicans, all white people, you know, and learning to be around that. You would think that you can trust like black people, white people and Mexicans growing up. But it ain't what you think, you know, you feel me like growing up on, over there. Come on, niggas getting killed, niggas getting molested, raped, whatever you can tell, whatever assault you can say right now. That's what's happening in the near future. As I speak about myself, if I was conscious of my childhood right now, when I was like five years old and they called me Lemonhead on the West Side. There you go. You understand. There you go. The same kid that's, you know, pushing it, you know, 
And, you know, for me to hear, you know, Busy Bones Alpha and Omega album back in 2006 when I went there and I ditched high school that day just to go there to the Best Buy to get it. And now Blockbuster or whatever they don't have in business no more is like out of it. Like, come on, man, you feel me? Like, shit is just like, you know, not itself in the world where the world is just like controlled like it was a movie. A damn retarded ass, like, dim version of a Matrix movie right now. And I'm not to be laughed at in society, so whatever. And, you know, just get it straight, motherfuckers, man. Y'all just got it twisted with the wrong person. So what? So what? How I look and who I'm doing, what, what, and what, and when, where, 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 who, how, and, and then there. I'm going to be doing whatever I need to do till I get out of the streets and be myself. So, yeah. I got to do this, do this, do that, that, this, that. Whatever, man. Y'all see that y'all gonna be burning on the inside, and that's the end of this interview because I got no room from no haters. And the basically how my future's gonna be, man. If you're gonna be with me, you either gonna be with me, or your motherfucker's ass is gonna be against me. So this is how it's gonna be, man. I just come to say hello. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give you your your coffee pot because oh, I, I I told you you to, I told you it was gonna be a gift from me. Oh, because man. I need to wash it out though. I'm just looking at you. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, thanks that fire. I just heard you talking on your phone. I just wanted to say hello. Yeah, I, I'm just you know on, on a YouTube channel looking at my um, peoples over here. Okay. Well, what are they looking at me for? So. Keep it turned that way, but don't be showing the back of your room looking all like that. Nah, you, you, know, you know I'm too smart for that. Get that papers up all. You know I'm too smart for that, Sapphire. Okay, <laughs> all right, baby. All right. See you later. All right, sugar. I'm sorry about Michael, man. He just don't understand, man. It's okay. He's in the room. It's okay. Keep it in peace. I'll stay away from him. I I I listen to you, okay? I'll stay away. All right. Love you. Yeah, but you know, had some conflict yesterday, but the video was supposed to end, but uh you know where I'm at. So find me, you know. I'm I'm willing to go back into the music or the artwork cuz it's just come to a trials and tribulations where I got to choose right now because I can't even keep a roof over my head shit. So uh, I gotta go back and do some hustling probably, so hit me back up, y'all.